there are a lot of people who lie and get away with it. And, uh, and that uh, we will in fact find uh, uh, weapons or, or evidence of weapons programs that are, are conclusive. I don't think we'll discover anything myself. It appears that there were not weapons of mass destruction there. You said you knew where they were. I did not know where they are. They're in the area around uh, Tikrit and Baghdad and, and uh, east, west, south and north. Well, first of all, I, I haven't lied. There are a lot of people who lie and get away with it. Talking about lies and your, your right. allegation that there was bulletproof evidence of ties between Al-Qaeda and Iraq. Was that a lie? Intelligence gathered by this and other governments leaves no doubt that the Iraq regime continues to possess and conceal some of the most lethal weapons ever devised. The, our people are going to find out the truth, and the truth will say that this intelligence is good intelligence, no doubt in my mind. I don't know anybody that I can think of who has contended that the Iraqis had nuclear weapons. And we believe he has, in fact, reconstituted nuclear weapons. Saddam Hussein is determined to get his hands on a nuclear bomb. We cannot wait for the final proof. He's got him. He's got him. The smoking gun. He's got him. It could come in the form of a mushroom cloud. Colin Powell didn't lie. My colleagues, every statement I make today is backed up by sources, solid sources. These are not assertions. What we're giving you are facts and conclusions based on solid intelligence. El régimen iraquí tiene armas de destrucción masiva. ¿Es usted está seguro? Puede estar usted seguro y pueden estar seguros todas las personas que nos ven que les estoy diciendo la verdad. El mundo pensaba que en Irak había armas de destrucción masiva y no había armas de destrucción masiva. Eso lo sabe todo el mundo y yo también lo sé. The claim that Iraq was sponsoring terrorists would have attacked us on 9-11. Before September the 11th, many in the world believed that Saddam Hussein could be contained. And that Iraq had purchased nuclear materials from Niger. The regime is seeking a nuclear bomb. Now, all three of those turned out, turned out to be false. Uh, first, uh, if I might correct a misperception, I don't think we ever said, at least I know I didn't say, that there was a direct connection between September the 11th and, 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 and Saddam Hussein. Who does the president think he's effing kidding? Um, of course, it was information that was mistaken. There are a lot of people who lie and get away with it. Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. <laughs> nope, no weapons over there. <laughs> Maybe under here. When you have a precedent set like that, and you have somebody, George Tennant, acknowledging in his book that he knew that the administration was deceiving the American people into a situation that is murdering young men and women from this country and others, that George Tennant and Dick Cheney and Condoleezza Rice and George Bush et al. should be in fucking jail. The Iranian regime supports violent extremists and challenges us across the region. It pursues a nuclear capability that could spark a dangerous arms race and raise the prospect of a transfer of nuclear know-how to terrorists. Its president denies the Holocaust and threatens to wipe Israel off the map. The danger from Iran is grave, it is real, and my goal will be to eliminate this threat. He said there were three main reasons for going to war in Iraq. Weapons of mass destruction. Sues a nuclear capability that could spark a dangerous arms race. The claim that Iraq was sponsoring terrorists would have attacked us on 9 11 president denies the Holocaust and threatens to wipe Israel off the map. The danger from Iran is grave, it is real, and my goal will be to eliminate 
this threat. Now, all three of those turned out, turned out to be false. That he knew that the administration was deceiving the American people into a situation that is murdering young men and women from this country and others. That George Tenet and Dick Cheney and Condoleezza Rice and George Bush et al. should be in fucking jail. 